What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It's me, it's your girl, it's Rita, and I am here for another video on this Sunday afternoon. This is gonna be a good one. I say it's pretty easy, you know, cooking is easy to me, but there are some steps in this one. But before we get into this cooking, I just want to say hey to all my dudes, all my boos. Glad you're joining me today. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please make sure you do that and give me a thumbs up on these videos. It helps me a lot in the land of Google and in the land of YouTube. So any help you can give me with that, I would appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, don't just watch the video, subscribe to my channel. I think it's a pretty cool channel. Don't you think it's a pretty cool channel? I do. And uh, any other logistics? I don't think there's a lot to say today. Day. I'm exhausted. I've had a busy weekend, but you know, busy is good sometimes. Um, so we're going to get this video started. I just want to say hi to you guys. Thank you for the support. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. You know, I see each one. I think I see each one. Uh, unless you have something on your end that keeps me from seeing that you subscribe. But thank you. I've been getting a few a day, like five a day here lately. So I'm very excited about that. So I'm trying to keep some content for you guys. Today we are going to be making a creamy chicken pasta. And this pasta, I, I, I'm kind of um, copycatting this uh, pasta that I had at Macaroni Grill called pasta milano so um i liked it so much that uh, i said i wanted it again i had it at a um a lunch a business lunch yesterday a work lunch and I, it was so good that i was like i can do this to it and i can change that and it will be delicious for my subscribers so today that's what i'm doing i am doing pasta milano chicken milano or just creamy chicken pasta whatever you want to call it that's what we're doing today. I said hey to y'all. Mm -hmm. I love on y'all. Let's get it going. Let's go. Okay, so right here, let me show you. I want to tell you step by step what I'm doing. This is just a pot of hot water. It's almost to boiling, okay? What I'm going to be adding to this water is about uh, two tablespoons of butter, okay? This is just giving the water, the pasta water, a little flavor so that your pasta has some flavor. These are some garlic cubes, you guys. It's a garlic seasoning and they're in cubes, just like you find uh, chicken bouillon or beef bouillon. This is um, garlic seasoning bouillon. They're very small, but they have a very good kick to them. They are by Nors, and I add them to this pasta water as well. Okay, and when that pasta water gets brisk, you know we're just going to drop us some pasta down in there. Today, I'm going to be using rigatoni for this um, recipe, but you can use bow tie, you can use fettuccine. It is up to you. I'm going to be using chicken breast, but of course, you know you can use thighs or whatever piece of chicken you want. And I'm going to be using some bacon. <laughs> It's going to get so lit up in here, y'all. Like, y'all going to be like, okay, that pasta is everything. So I'm going to try not to have to stop too many times. But in order to keep you from being on here a long time, I will do some stops, okay? So let me show you what vegetables I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using my processor today. This is half of a large... Um, a large uh, onion, you know, and I'm just going to be putting it down up in here just like this. Let me put y'all over here on the processor. Okay. Let's see what we're going to be adding to that thing. Okay. So we have the onion in there, right? Y'all see that? Yes. Okay. I'm going to put about, I want my pasta to be really good and garlicky. So I have these garlic, um, cloves and I'm going to put about five of them in here right down there in there I'm going to put some uh, 
sun-dried tomatoes in here as well. This is a three ounce bag and this is the ones that's on the cabinet. I'm not going to use the ones that's in the oil for this particular um, recipe. I'm going to use these dry ones and I'm just going to put it right down in here. And I'm just going to be uh, dicing all of this up and chopping it up, okay? Then it's going to go in oil. But first, I'm going to uh, get all of this diced up. I'm going to put also in here, you guys, with this. It already smells so good. I'm going to put some mushrooms in here. <clears throat> that I have drained. This is an 8-ounce can. With the stems and the pieces. I think that's what it says. Yeah, pieces and stems, right? I'm just going to pour it right down in here. I don't like too much juice, you guys, so I get kind of crazy when it comes to that. Let me get some of this juice off of here. Some more of this juice off of here. I should have drained them. Just, you know, really drained them good. All right. So we got all of that in the food processor, right? And I'm going to be <clears throat> processing this down pretty good, you know. I want it pretty, pretty good, chopped up pretty good, okay? So that's what we have. And to keep you from hearing that noise, I'm just going to put this on the processor, okay? And then I'm going to uh, process it off camera so you guys won't hear all that noise. So just a second, when I get back, it'll be all processed up. Okay, you guys, so I have it all processed up. So you see how fine it is? See those little processed pieces that I have? The biggest thing in there is probably those tomatoes, but you see how little that is? That's just how I want it. Because when you think about some pasta, you don't want a big giant pieces uh, on your pasta. So that is just good for me. So we're gonna go right over here. And we're gonna go to the skillet. Okay, let's get it off of here and get this out of here. The thing about this one, it has a hole in the bottom of it, so it's kind of tricky. I'm just going to pour it over here right quick. Let's see, can I get it in here without making a freaking mess? Okay. I'm going to be making a pretty big, uh, pretty big, uh, amount of this because I want us to be able to eat this on this today and tomorrow because as y'all know Monday is my lazy day and I try if nobody has a doctor's appointment or if I don't have anything to do I usually don't get out of bed on Mondays so I just recover from the weekend and from all the stuff that I've done bed baths and doctor's appointments and cleaning up and church and I just Kind of relax. So we've got all of that stuff, all of that yumminess in some oil. And I just have some corn oil um, in here. And I'm just getting these tender. And the thing that you're watching the most is those um, sun-dried tomatoes. You want those to get really um, tender. Right? That's all we are doing with this is letting it get tender. Okay. When this gets tender, I'm going to remove this and then I'm going to start cooking my meat. I'm going to do some bacon first and then I'm going to do some chicken. Okay. Let me show you my chicken. <clears throat> this is my chicken. Let me this out the way. This is my chicken. What this is is three ch large chicken breasts, okay, that I have cut into these slices, uh, these strips. Uh, otherwise, is what I mean. Or rather, these strips, okay? And I've already cleaned this chicken, and I've already cut it, as you can see. Let me wash my hands, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to season this chicken, okay? Okay. 
going to give these vegetables a stir because we know we've got some um, some um, garlic in there. We don't want that to start to burn. So I'm just going to stir it just a little bit. I'm just kind of letting it do its thing over here. I'm not bothering with it. Turned it down some so those um, sun-dried tomatoes can continue to get a little tender. Okay, so we're back over to the chicken. And how I'm going to season this chicken, you guys, is just with some salt and pepper, garlic salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and um, some Italian seasoning. Now, you can season it with basil instead of Italian seasoning. That's just a preference because I think uh, Italian seasoning has all the things you want in it when you think about, you know, some Italian pasta. It has the oregano and the basil and all of that in there. So I just use that instead of just using one, you know, one, one thing, oregano or basil or, I don't know why I always pick up the one that's not open, y'all. Jesus. Okay, so some onion powder. So that's some salt, some onion powder, and some uh, Italian seasoning. Some black pepper. And let me get me a garlic powder that's already open. Okay. And I'm going to uh, stir this up when it goes into the pan, into that nice um, bacon grease. See if I can find me a garlic powder that's already open. <laughs> that was not open either, y'all. I'm tripping. Hold on. Here I come. They keep popping. Pop. Not open. I know it's one open somewhere, but I'm... I'm I'm getting weary, so I'm just going to open one up, y'all. Sorry, I didn't already have it ready for you guys. Let me get it open right quick. Meanwhile, our water, pasta water, turn it up just a little bit. All right. It's about to get to boiling. I'm going to use a 16-ounce box of rigatoni and probably another half a box. Because, like I said, I'm going to be putting that in my long glass uh, casserole dish and baking it in the oven with the cheese and the bacon on top once I get it all filled up. Okay? So, I think I like these vegetables. Let's go back over here. Mmm, so do smell good, y'all. It so do smell good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, let me see. Give me a fork. Let's see if that consistency of that. Yeah, it's tender. You can tell. See? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I'm going to move this out of my way. Put it in something. Let me find me something. I'm just going to put it on a plate for now. Move it out of my way. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yummy. Yeah, so good. Pasta is something, you guys, that's just a good go-to, run to right quick, you know. Make you a good meal, don't take you all day. And you can change pasta so many ways you know you can make up a good pasta dish some pasta make you up a sauce <laughs> there are no rules i tell y'all that all the time okay i'm just gonna get some of this out of this skillet okay and i'm going to crisp up some bacon honey Bacon make everything taste good, don't it? Okay, let's turn it on. Get some bacon. I got some hickory uh, smoked thick bacon. I'm going to probably do about five uh, slices or so. 
Because we do have the chicken, and the chicken is supposed to be the star. You know, bacon will take over. Bacon come in there and say, <laughs> you thought you was the star? Nah, chicken. I'm the star chicken. <laughs> everybody love a good old piece of bacon. Well, I guess everybody don't. You know, everybody. All of a sudden, bacon ain't, the, ain't what it used to be. For some people, it is still for me. All right, y'all. We're just going to put us some bacon right on down in this skillet. And all I'm going to do, you guys, is cook this bacon, brown it, crisp it up. And uh, you don't need to see me do that. I will bring you guys back when I am ready to do the chicken. Okay? Okay, y'all, so I'm back, and this is my skillet that I did my bacon in. And I have kept almost all of that grease from that bacon, you guys. And right now, you know that I seasoned those strips of chicken with garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. Right now, I'm going to give you a little trick that I'm doing. I'm not going to put this in the description box, so only if you're watching to this point will you know that I did this, okay? And you can comment comment in the comments that you heard my little special tip, okay? So this is my little crispy bacon, our crisp crisp up, crisped up. Ooh, smells so good. Okay? So now I'm just going to make this chicken. I'm just going to blacken it and sear it in this pan. Let me get me Something. I'm sorry if I'm in your face. Just gonna go right into this chicken. I mean, into this bacon grease with this chicken, right? With these chips, okay? Now, what I did is I added, you guys, two cap capsules of liquid smoke, okay? And I added about two heaping tablespoons of blackening seasoning to this chicken you guys just to give this chicken a little smoky flavor in addition to that Italian flavor this is just gonna make that chicken pop and it's just gonna make it delicious so we're gonna crisp we're gonna crisp we're gonna cook this chicken right on up we're gonna sear it and then I'm going to put everything I'm gonna make a sauce and put everything in a con in a, my uh, bacon dish, and we're gonna be done, you guys. So, y'all don't have to watch me do this. <laughs> Let y'all see it for a few minutes. But this chicken is gonna be really delicious and beautiful. I'm gonna cook this chicken, then I'm going to make my uh, chicken broth and. Uh, Heavy whipping cream sauce, and we're gonna put it all together. Be right back. Remember, comment in the uh, comment section if you listen to this part and you know what two extra ingredients I added to this chicken that won't be added in the description box. It's a bonus, bonus, a food ingredient bonus. <laughs> Okay, hey y'all, I'm back. This is my sauce. This is just the rest of the butter that I had from the uh, two tablespoons of butter that I used earlier. Just the rest of that. I'm going to start out with two cups because I have like two boxes of pasta and I have so much uh, filling and stuff. So I'm going to start out with two cups of heavy whipping cream. This should be enough to cover that pasta and still have, you know, it be creamy. And two cups of chicken broth. Okay. And that's probably going to be the rest of this. I think I'm almost out of it. So. Just enough. I might as well pour the rest of that on in there. Good. Right? And a little bit of more of that. Just because I did that, you guys. But two and two is fine, okay? Mm 
To this, I'm going to use the same seasonings, you guys, that I seasoned my chicken with. So I seasoned my pasta. I'm going to season this um, sauce. I seasoned my meat. You know, I just seasoned everything. That's just who I be, okay? Just like I said, the same ones, the Italian seasoning. This is almost gone. Might as well go ahead on and use it. Start with two tablespoons of seasoning, you guys, and then give it a taste. Two, two tablespoons of everything. Onion powder. Garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Okay. I'm going to be adding my meat back in here and my sun-dried tomato mixture. And I'm going to see. And also, I'm sorry, you guys, my Parmesan cheese. I'm going to start out with at least a cup, okay? This package has a cup and a half, so that's enough, okay? I'm going to put this right in here. Alright. Alright. Let everything get to marrying and kissing and hugging on each other. Alright. While that's mixing, let me show you guys what I'm going to do. Nice. I just knocked the salt down. I didn't waste a lot of it, thank God, but I did make a mess. So let's go over here. The olive. Okay. That's my filling. My bacon, my chicken. Okay. I'm going to drop me a little bit of red pepper, crushed red pepper into that cheese and uh, liquid. Just a couple of drops. Just for a little pop, okay? <clears throat> because I'm addicted to it. <clears throat> this is my pasta that I have rinsed and uh, let drain. And I'm going to make a mess because I always make a mess. Yay. I love to make a mess. <laughs> Sorry about that. Woo. Okay, so we got that. Let me get these out of the way. The little strays. The little runaways. The little runaway strays. <clears throat> okay. So we got our pasta. I actually could put my chicken in there, but I just, it's just something about having it in the sauce. So let's go back to the sauce. Okay, back over there. Mm-hmm. Cooking up real good and nice. Parmesan cheese, it melts, but it gets like this, like little grainy, like a, uh, it just, it gets like the grated Parmesan cheese to me. It doesn't just like melt, melt. Eventually, I guess when I put it in the oven, it will, but I mean, I like it, you know, I don't have a problem with it, but it didn't just melt down like that. So we're going to put all of this stuff back into this sauce, the meat. Hope that I don't make no mess. I love to make a mess. This is the chicken and the grease and everything. I didn't drain it, you know. I'm just going to use all of those flavors to go right down into this casserole. Not a casserole. <laughs> it's a pasta dish. And you can just do this once you put everything on the stove. 
You can put your pasta and everything in this pot once you get this chicken and cheese and stuff like you want it. You can just pour your pasta right into this pot and then throw you some more um, Parmesan cheese on the top and let that be it. You don't have to put it in the oven. I'm doing that. That's just what I want to do. Okay, so this is our sun-dried tomatoes, our mushrooms, our garlic, our onion. Ooh, baby. This is the gotcha gotcha, honey. I think without meat, this would be good with the bacon. It, and I got to have something. <laughs> I said without meat, then I said with the bacon. Girl, stop. Ooh, yeah. Okay, this is your base, okay? This is going to have to sauce your um, pasta and it's going to bake. Or it's going to sit on the oven and on the stove and cook. So you want this to be a good texture. Pretty loose but not really, not runny but uh, just to have a little body to it. Mm, mm. That is delicious, you guys. I won't tell you no lies because I love you too much, okay? And all I'm doing is just getting this all together. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to pour it on this pasta. Let me make me some room. Got all my plates and stuff out. Turn this this way and see can I turn y'all that way. This thing is not like I want it today, y'all. And I don't feel like messing with it. So I'm making y'all stuff because I don't feel like messing with it. That good? Right? That's a good picture. Alright. So I'm gonna put that sauce on here, y'all. thing to put it on all right now I have my oven on 400 degrees and I'm only gonna put this in there the time that it takes for me to make um, some garlic bread so that's the extent of the cooking time that I'm gonna do so probably about 15 minutes okay I'll be putting this in here I'm gonna this all in here. It's not a really just soupy. It just is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm going to put some more Parmesan cheese on the top of here when I get this all mixed in. But you see what I'm doing. I'm going to mix this all in here. And it's going to go in the oven with some Parmesan cheese on the top. Grated Parmesan cheese, shredded Parmesan cheese on the top. And then it's going to go in the oven. But I got to get it all mixed in like I want it. First. Ouch, that was hot to my thumb, y'all. Golly. Woo, baby, baby. Woo, baby, baby. Okay. Okay. Now, this is my big skillet. Now, remember, these things are big. These are some big pasta. They're big. So, keep that in mind as well. But look at that. Don't they look good already? It's going to be so good, y'all. I'm trying to see, do I want to put any other liquid in here? I don't think I do. Let me mix this up really good, y'all. I'm gonna have to. 
I might have to transfer it to another thing. I want this flavor and this stuff on all of my pasta. So I'm going to stir this up and get it ready for the oven. And then I'm going to put it in the oven and cook it while I cook my garlic bread. And I'm going to let y'all see the finished results. Okay, here you guys, here it is before I put it in the oven. Now I'm going to make a suggestion to you guys. Put everything in the sauce to mix it together, even the pasta, okay? It was hard to get this pasta covered with um, enough liquid. So what I ended up doing was just taking me some more butter, some more cream, and uh, what else did I use? And a little chicken broth and um, my parsley that I was gonna sprinkle on top just to make some more sauce, just to pour on top of here because it's hard. All this juice is down here in the bottom of this this uh, pan, but um, no matter how I manipulate, it's hard to get all it all seasoned and sauced up. So my suggestion is to get it seasoned and sauced up in your pot and then put it in your baking dish, okay? and then put it in the oven. It don't take no more than 10 minutes in the oven, you guys. So I'm just gonna be putting this in with my garlic bread just to get everything cooked together. I'm gonna put um, some foil on here, but I'm just gonna loosely cover it with some heavy foil. Okay, you know my trick, I, uh, I spray my foil so that any cheese will not stick to the foil paper okay and i'm just gonna like i said i'm just gonna barely lay it on here just for coverage you guys and i'm just gonna barely tuck it in on the sides okay barely tuck it in see that i'm leaving all of that up in the air okay and i'm just gonna put this in with my garlic bread and the time that it takes my bread to get ready then this will be ready okay and then we're gonna see what it came out like See you in a minute for the last reveal. Okay, y'all, we've come to the end of the road, honey. Look at this beauty. Would you look at this beauty? Now I'm not gonna make me a plate, you guys, because I am not ready to eat, but we are definitely gonna give this thing a taste. Let's see here. Gonna look and see if it's creamy. It is. See that? Still creamy. Cheesy. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to taste it, y'all. I'm ready to taste it. So I'm just gonna give me a little bit right here. Woo! In this corner. And this corner. Y'all see? Yeah. It's going to give me a little bit right here, y'all. And we're going to taste it. We're going to pray for this thing. We're going to taste it. Well, that's a big old piece of chicken. I should have me something else to be getting this out with. But I'm so lazy. I'm real lazy. I'm going to give me some of this. Ooh, some of them sun dried tomatoes. Some of this good old juice in this corner. Ooh, honey, bunches of oats and berries, girl. It's gonna be so good. You see that? What you think? Think you'll make you some creamy chicken pasta? Lord, we thank you for this day, God. We just come to you to say thank you. Thank you for health. Life, health, and strength, God. We are so grateful. We know that somebody, this is not their story. This is not their life. This is not their um, existence, their reality. So we just come to say thank you, first of all. And God, we also want to thank you for this food. We are in a land of overflow. And we are living in a time where we are not on the street begging and and just uh, in need, God, we actually, we, we waste. 
you know. So we thank you, God, for everything that you are and what you do for us. And, Lord, bless this food and let it be a nourishment to our bodies. If any of my subscribers try this food, Lord, let it be a nourishment to their bodies. Let it be a hit in their homes and something that they'll add to their recipe box. And, God, if you just want to be really extra great, great to us, <laughs> let this be so good on our lips and not so bad on our hips. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, y'all. Let's taste. Let's taste it. Okay, I always give you the first bite, so I'm going to get that cheese, huh? Mmm. Okay, what you think? What do you think, honey? Let me taste it. Let me taste it, y'all. Here I go. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. You know what? It's something about a sun-dried tomato, I tell you. It just gives a different taste. Ah, oh, yes, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. Yes, yes. Hmm. You want another bite? Oh, my. Oh, my wide now. Don't play. Mmm. Thank you for leaving me, son. Die. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All I'm going to do, mmm, I'm going to put some crusty bread with this, some garlic bread, garlic toast, you guys, and I'm going to just do a green basic salad. Mmm. And that's going to be a wrap for me, honey. All right, you guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to keep you no longer. And I will see you guys. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe. And like I always tell you, don't forget it. <laughs> Your food ain't all the way live till it's been rich. I was going to get one bite before we get on out of here. I'll see y'all on the next one when we see what Rita's cooking. Cause she's always cooking. Hey, and she's so good looking. Oh! <laughs> Love y'all. Bye. Mmm.